Hello students, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve the example 1.5. The problem is, write the differential equations governing the mechanical rotational system shown in figure. Also obtain the transfer function of the system. So, as we all know that from the diagram, we are having two masses with moment of inertia J1 and J2. So, the first step is, we have to, in order to have a find the transform function, the formula is Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. So, from the diagram, it is clear that T is the applied torque, that is, this is the input and theta is the respect to output. So, Laplace transform of theta divided by Laplace transform of T is nothing but theta of S divided by T of S. So, the first step is we are going to draw the free body diagram of J1. So, the same thing, just count the number of elements which is connected to J1. Here, we are having only the spring key which is connected to J1. So, this spring will produce one opposing torque. Apart from that, this mass J1 will also produce one opposing torque. So, here from this diagram, the applied torque is T. So, this is our respective input. And the respective displacement of T J1, we are taking it as theta1. So, it is theta1 here. So, the opposing torque is produced by T J1 and T K. Right. Now, we are going to write the equations. That is, T J1 is directly proportional to D square theta1 by DT square. So, when you include proportionality constant, this becomes J1 into d square theta 1 by dt square and the next one is we are going to write the opposing torque produced by the spring so tk is directly proportional to here this k is connected between j1 and j2 as we are drawing the free body diagram of j1 the angular displacement of j1 should be considered first so it is nothing but theta 1 so tk is directly proportional to theta 1 minus theta so, when you include proportionality constant, this becomes k into theta 1 minus theta. Right. So, here applied torque is equal to your opposing torque. So, here is applied torque is T and the opposing torque is produced by these two. So, it is nothing but Tj1 plus Tk. Just substitute the values. So, when you substitute, this becomes J1 into d square theta 1 by dt square plus k into theta 1 minus theta. So, just apply Laplace transformation. So, when you, when you apply Laplace, T becomes T of S. So, J1 into S square into theta 1 of S plus K into theta 1 of S minus theta of S. So, in this case, I am taking theta 1 of S commonly outside. So, when you take theta 1 of S outside, the remaining terms will be j1 s square plus k minus k into theta of s. Okay, this is your expression number 1. Now, we are going to draw the free body diagram of our mass j2. So, just here from this diagram, just count the number of elements which is connected to j2. So, here we are having 1, 2. So, two elements are directly connected. Apart from that, an opposing torque will be also produced by this J2. So, totally three opposing torques. So, here I am drawing the three opposing torques. One is produced by Tj2 and another one is produced by Tb and another one is produced by Tk. So, here the respect to angular displacement, it is given as theta. There is no directly applied torque over here. So, there is no applied torque only opposing torques. So, just write the equations. So, Tj2 will be directly proportional to d square theta by dt square. So, which is nothing but J2 into d square theta by dt square. And the next one is when you consider dash part, it will be directly proportional to d theta by dt. So, which is equal to b into d theta by dt. And the next one is k. So, since K is connected between J1 and J2, now I am considering J2. So, the respective displacement of J2 is theta. So, theta should come first. We have to write it as theta minus theta 1. 
so here i am writing as theta minus theta 1 so just when you include proportionality constant this becomes k into theta minus theta 1 so just take laplace transformation sorry initially we have to apply torque is equal to opposing torque so here apply torque is 0 and opposing torque is nothing but tj2 plus tb plus tk just substitute the respective values it is nothing but j2 into d square theta by dt square plus b into d theta by dt plus k into theta minus theta 1 so just apply laplace transformation so when you apply laplace j2 into s square into theta of s plus b into s into theta of s plus k into theta of s minus theta 1 of s so just take theta of s terms commonly outside so when you take theta of s is the remaining terms will be j2 s square plus b s plus k minus k into theta 1 of s so just rearrange this expression you will be getting k into theta 1 of s is equal to theta of s into j2 s square plus b s plus k so theta 1 of s is equal to theta of s into j2 s square plus b s plus k this k comes here as a denominator divided by k right let this be your equation number 2 now substitute this equation number 2 in equation number 1 so when you substitute here let me write the equation number 1 s square plus k minus k into theta of s this is your equation number 1 now i am going to substitute this theta 1 of s here so it is nothing but theta of s into j2 s square plus b s plus k divided by k into here we are having this term write it as such so that becomes j1 into s square plus k minus k into theta of s so just take lcm here so when you take lcm theta of s into j2 s square plus b s plus k into j1 s square plus k minus k into k becomes k square into theta of s and this entire equation will be divided by k so again take theta of s commonly outside so when you take theta of s the remaining terms will come as such j2 s square plus b s plus k into j1 s square plus k minus k square divided by k so here our required transfer function is theta of s divided by t of s so just move this t of s to this side so you will be getting theta of s by t of s here this entire expression will move to that side as a reciprocal so when you move to that side you will be having k divided by j2 s square plus b s plus k into j1 s square plus k minus k square this is our required transfer function and that's all the problem gets over here and the next one is we are asked to write the differential equations right here this equation number one and this equation let it be equation number some three so equation number one and three gives the required uh, differential equations governing the system that's all the problem gets over here thank you